Today's a very, very, very special day because my missus's Nissan Silvia S15 has finally landed. Andy at Power Vehicles has performed absolute magic. The car spec is sick. We'll have a proper look around the car once we get down to the port. To give you guys a basic rundown, it's a 2.1 fully forged SR. The head's all been reworked by Narprec. They're a very sort of famous machine shop in Japan. I'll put a link down here uh, for their Instagram page. If you guys give them a follow, really appreciate it. They're a bit of a hidden gem, um, but they're very famous in the Japanese tuning scene. It's also got an arc baffled sump. It's got a gearbox cooler, oil cooler, obviously front mount filter. It's got a top mount single turbo. Um, yeah, the spec is literally next level. The inside is also beautiful as well. It's got full, bright front and rear interior. Super, super rare. Um, Nismo dash clocks, which are really rare as well. The body kit is also absolutely savage. It's running an original Y Square D1 GP uh, full aero kit. So you've got the front bumper, rear bumper, side skirts. You've got all the canards. Um, you'll see when we get there, the kit is quite unique. It's not really a very popular kit you see on many S15s and they're very expensive to buy from Japan. You're probably wondering what we're going to do with this car. Basically, it's going to become a full street car. What we decided was, it's great doing all these drift days, but realistically, A, it costs a huge amount of money and B, we don't really get to drive the cars a huge amount of times. I mean, I probably drove my S15 probably six or seven times this year. Um, obviously, if I had it on the road and I went to car shows, I'd probably drive it a lot more. So the main purpose with George's car is to leave it as a full street car. We're not gonna drift it. We're just gonna basically mint it up, get it fresh, and get Georgie out on the road and get it to go to a few car shows, a few car events. First things first with the S15, Dave's obviously gonna give it a really good check over, um, give it a really good service, change all the fluids like the diff, the oil, the water, the brake fluid, um, just to make sure sort of everything's above board. Once we've done that, we'll get the car MOT'd and then registered, and then we'll get Martin of MB Automotive down to uh, map the car. Obviously in Japan, they run slightly higher octane fuel, um, and this car is probably quite highly strung. It's probably sort of between four to 450 horsepower when it's all set up properly. So we just need to make sure everything is safe. Don't forget to follow Mrs. Monkey London down here. She's actually working till nine o'clock tonight, so really late. And then she's staying at her parents because she's going to be back so late. She's not actually going to get a chance to see the car. Well, I just want to say a massive thanks to everybody who's come over from my YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and followed me on Twitch. I've been doing pretty regular live streams. It's been really good because you guys have been coming on, watching me play games and chatting with me on there. So it's been really nice to sort of get involved with you guys and, and, and have a good chat. I'll leave my Twitch up on the... Uh, up on the video here if you guys could give me a little follow or subscribe anything to sort of help keep this show on the road really really appreciate it I know most of you really want to watch me playing racing games but I have been playing a bit of Red Dead Redemption 2 recently and I must admit I fucking love it I know it's got horses and not cars uh, but yeah, like Jamie said, it's kind of like GTA, but with cowboys. And I'm really looking forward to the multiplayer aspect coming out, because I think we're going to be having a lot of bants. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see me um, streaming from the ultimate gamer setup, feel free to check me Twitch out and do me a, a follow. Anyway, as I always say, that is enough jibber jabber. I'm sure you guys are sick of listening to my voice. So I'll see you down at the port real soon. Just about see it through there. Yeah! That's sick. These are actually the lads that I met down at McDonald's. Not that I went to McDonald's, Mrs. Monkey London, because I'm on a diet. Now, Jordan's actually promised me a cheeky little review when his car's all sorted. After Christmas, what have you got planned for it? Many things. Many. Many monies. Uh, <laughs> New gearbox to chocolate. Yeah. New <laughs> and engine. Forge so, engine. Yeah, yeah, man. What sort of horsepower are you going to go for? Like 300? Ish. Ish, yeah. yeah. I might as well get a bit prepared for when the review goes down. <laughs> Nice little OMP bucket seats. What's that? What steering wheel is that? Sparco? Yeah. Nice, man. And you got Sparco wheels as well, Jay? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Jordan, Tom. Tom, I actually, I actually recognise Tom from the Goodwood day. And if his boss is watching, Tom actually told me to do a burnout. <laughs> <laughs> It's Tom's fault I got in trouble. Approximately 30 minutes to go. Let's do this. Right, we have arrived at the port. Last time I was here, 
I got in trouble for filming. Technically not supposed to be filming here, but I'll try and do a cheeky little bit if I can. I don't want to get old, uh, old Michael in trouble. I'm just going to pop up to Wayne right now, sort all the paperwork, and then yeah, I should be seeing you back here very shortly with a pretty sick S15. And by magic, one beautiful looking S15. Obviously bear in mind, the car has just come off the boats. The suspension is very high. We've also got these Ropey 370Z wheels on here for now, but obviously these are going to be replaced with a nice set of work CR Kai's. I'll do a quick little walk around before it gets a little bit too dark. Up front, full wide square front bumper, wide square canards, wide square side skirts with canards as well, and then wide square rear bumper with rear canards. Looks absolutely sick. 30 mil rear over fenders, 25 mil front over fenders. Up the back, we've also got a set of Yashio factory rear lights. I'll make sure that John doesn't get his hands on the car and doesn't run it down any walls at Driftland. If we look at the back, we've got 350Z brakes there. We've got 350Z brakes up front. Factory Z on lights, which are pretty rare on these. This is the engine. Obviously, TD05 top mount turbo. Loads of gorgeous head work in there. Right, it's shitting it down. Well, I was trying to show you around the car, but it's just literally shit it down. Now it's completely stopped raining, absolutely random weather. Right, where were we? I'll quickly show you guys under the bonnet now, now the weather has given us a, a little break. Ooh. Right, here is the beast. Mm, check out that lovely top mount turbo, very nominal. Cheeky little HKS filter. Obviously loads of engine work, which I can't really show you right now, and I probably can't ever really show you, but there's a lot of goodness inside this engine. What's quite nice to see, it's also running a blow-off valve, but it's not bent to atmosphere, it's actually vented back into the inlet track. So effectively like a, re a research, uh, which is really how it should be done, so quite nice to see. It's quite hard to get an idea on the paintwork, but it's kind of like a sort of a pearlescent sort of silvery white colour. It's pretty, pretty goddamn nice. It's not really the colour I choose, I'm more into sort of black and dark colours, but Mrs. Monkey London really liked it and obviously this is her car so that's why we went with it quickly show you guys in the interior it's really nice in here proper sort of street setup car obviously full bride interior front seats and rear interior as well very very rare that it's got the orange clusters as well which is extremely rare it's very hard to find an s15 that has these naughty steering wheel little cheeky double din head unit there's a couple of gauges that actually go down there, but Andy's already sent those to me separately just so they didn't get pinched at the port. I didn't actually realise that the, uh, the dashboard has also been trimmed in leather as well. Check that out. The first time I've ever seen a leather dash in an S15. Normally they're sort of plastic and they get quite worn over time, so that's really cool. Nice little, uh, nice little trick effect, that. This is also a genuine spec R, whereas my car's a spec S that's been converted to a spec R. This is a genuine spec R. Mm. Power vehicles, look at them. Make sure you do them a follow, man. Power vehicles, Andy, you're an absolute star. It's got a cheeky little roof spoiler as well. Just noticed that, didn't realize it had a roof spoiler. It's actually quite quiet, this car. Compared to my S15, it's really, really quiet. I'll give it a little rev so you guys can hear what she sounds like. Overall, I'll give that a firm 20 out of 20. Obviously, I'm gagging to get the suspension low, gagging to get the wheels on it, and we're gonna do a little bit of a tidy up as well, just to get it all mint for the street for good old Mrs. Monkey. I've got me gardening gloves at the ready. I'm just gonna reverse the car up, get me ramps out, and chuck this bad boy on the trailer. And there we have it, one Savage S15 landed in the UK. Right, there we go, all sorted. Hopefully Mrs. Monkey is gonna be a very happy girl, because I certainly would be. I'm probably gonna end the video here, guys, because I doubt you wanna watch me driving back from Southampton in the pouring rain, in the rush hour traffic. I'm gonna be heading up to Dave's tomorrow to drop the S15, like I mentioned earlier, and pick up my JZX. I hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little video. Massive, massive stuff coming up, so I hope you guys are gonna stick around and, and keep watching the channel. As always, give me a like, put any comments down below, do my best to get back to you, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Sick. Mm.